I love this so much. Again, the swatches are going to look like poo. I'm always like handing it over to Tim. I'm like, you gotta smell this. This is amazing. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and foodies for you today. And it was another kind of like hodgepodge week. There's really no theme to this week that I was really particularly following. Um, other than at the beginning of the week, I was really into bright colored lips. And then at the end of the week, I was really into metallic lips, one in particular. So other than that, everything else is kind of random. So let's get into it. For eyes this week, I pulled out my Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. I really haven't played with this in a while, but I love this palette. I think it is so cute to look at, really nice quality. Um, what I was really, I mean, really honestly, I was gonna say what I was grabbing for or what I was using, but honestly, I used almost everything in here except for, which I love this one, except for Earl Grey. I didn't really wear that one, but other than that, I think I wore almost every single color in here. I especially love the pinks. I really love the blending shades. I was like, which finger haven't I used and which shadow haven't I used? I'm looking in a mirror, that's why I'm looking over here. So anyway, that's what I was grabbing for, but I love this palette. I think it's adorable. I think it's really nice quality. It's a really good standalone palette, but it's also a really good like companion palette because I'm using it, I'm wearing it today in conjunction with something else, so. Those don't look all that impressive, but I picked light colors. And really, I mean, if you paired all those together, that would make a really perfect everyday eye look. You know what I mean? So I was wearing this kind of more of a neutrally sort of eye look with these kind of bright lips. Today I have like a really dramatic eye look with a really bright lip. So I wasn't particularly doing this this week, but I decided to get a little crazy with my makeup today which I usually do in my Friday favorites. But anyway, I was grabbing for more of these kind of like neutrally sort of colors with the bright lips. But I did grab some of the darker colors too, just for like my outer corner and stuff. But I just, I just think this is so cute. It's such a cute palette. It smells good. It's great quality. I love Too Faced eyeshadows and I love all the chocolate bar palettes. And then I bought this baby this week. This is the Urban Decay Moon Dust palette. This is so fun. I'm gonna have a review and mini tutorial video coming up on this, and I did a very similar eye look to what I'm wearing right now. I just switched out one of the colors. So if you like this eye look, I'm gonna have a really similar one in that video. But anyway, I'm not gonna say a ton about it because I'll have a whole video on this palette, but I've been grabbing for it this week. I've been having fun with it, and I think it's pretty great. Just a little bit of a spoiler but you have to like these kind of shadows. So I think this one right here is a standout. This is Lithium and Spectre. These two were really standouts for me. Like, I think they are beautiful. And these are the two that I use in my eye look in that tutorial review video. What I'm wearing today is this one with Spectre. So, so beautiful, sparkly, fun. I'm starting to talk more about it than I even intended to, but I mean, yes. If you like sparkly, yes. It's just fun. I mean, my eye look <laughs> got all kinds of out of control today, but I was like, you know what? I'm still going with the bright lip because I feel like I've been talking about different lip colors and I always end up going, not always, but a lot of times I end up going with the neutral one in my Friday favorite, so I don't always show a, like a fun, colorful color, even if I was liking it during the week. So anyway, I wanted to actually wear my bright, fun, colorful lip, but I already had the dramatic eye look, so we just went with it. So yeah, this is a fun palette, but watch for that video. On my cheeks this week, I broke out a favorite of mine. Again, this is the Wet n Wild Rose Champagne Blush. Oh my gosh. This is an awesome blush. I would love this blush if it were $22, but the fact that it's like $4, I mean, just makes me even more head over heels for it. I have glitter now all over my hand. So ignore the leftover glitter from the Moon Dust palette, but this is a pretty light neutral blush. And I feel like it's one of those that the swatches just really don't do this justice, but it's just a beautiful neutral glowy blush that literally goes with 
everything. I would say it's probably best suited for um, medium to fair skin tones because it's so light. If you have deeper skin tones, then maybe as like kind of a subtle glowy highlight, but oh my gosh, I mean it is just, it's kind of hard, you know, when you're as fair as I am, it's sometimes kind of hard to find like a very neutral blush and this is one of them and it's super affordable, which makes it even better. And then I was trying to remember if I mentioned this recently, I don't think I did other than in a haul when I actually first got it, but if I have mentioned it in the favorites, I'm sorry, but I don't think I have. Anyway, it's Benefits Dandelion. This is another really light blush. This is what I'm wearing today. I do have a highlight on though. This is really, really light, very neutral, just a really super light pale pink, but it's really pretty. And again, the swatches are going to look like poo because it's really light, but on the cheeks, it's subtle, but it's beautiful and it's girly, but not like Barbie cheeks. You know what I mean? It's girly, but still really neutral because it's so light and so subtle, but isn't it pretty? And it's like a nice, just basically matte blush. I mean, maybe satin, but mostly just looks pretty matte to me. So I love this. I like the little baby size too, because then you get to try it out and it's still like half the size of the regular one. So I'll probably still have this forever. So I wish they would make them all in little baby sizes because they're so cute and just a perfect size. Okay, now for lip favorites, which is really where I was having a lot of fun this week. So first off, I wore this combo. These are really pretty together, but they're also beautiful individually. This is Merle Norman's California Girl. And this is Buxom's Rouge Red. And this is one of the gels, the bold gel, but not the matte. It's like the creamy ones, which they're both kind of like a creamy color. Let me swatch them separately and then I will layer them. So you can see what they look like by themselves and then also layer together. So California Girl is kind of more of a like peachy pink. And then Rouge Red is pretty much just a super orangey red, almost just flat out orange, but there they are. Okay, so this is California Girl, this is Rouge Red, and that is them layered together. Really beautiful, I love them all. I think they're just bright and fun, and they're those colors that when you put them on, they just brighten up your whole face. Like if you're having kind of a drab day, you're not feeling the day, I feel like Something like this just, I don't know, brings a little pep to the day, brings a little spark to your makeup, you know? So beautiful. Both really nice formulas, very comfortable. Um, I would wear them with a lip liner because they are kind of more like creamy, so they will move a little bit, but they're both really beautiful. And funny enough, I mean, this is the more affordable one. They're both, I think this one's like around, the Buxom ones maybe around like 21, 22 or something like that. And I think Merle Norman's usually around 16 or 17. This packaging feels more weighty than the Buxom one. So this one feels like it would be the higher end lipstick, but it's actually less expensive than this one. So that's a little side fun note. And then what I'm wearing on my lips right now is such a fun, bright color. I just think it's a good time and makes me happy. So first off, I'm wearing my NYX lip liner in plush red. I always just grab from my NYX lip liners because I have a bajillion colors and I usually have something that's gonna go. And then this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss. This is in Aphrodite Kiss. So I put a picture on my Instagram of this one and somebody was asking, is it a fuchsia or a red? And really, it's honestly kind of like right in between. Of the two, it's more fuchsia than red, but it has that like, I feel like especially on, it has that sort of reddish quality to it, but in a swatch it looks pretty pink. So, I don't know, it's probably more a fuchsia, but it has that sort of raspberry tone to it, but it's really, really pretty. These do start out kind of like, I don't even know, kind of more creamy, but then they do set down, not to like a full, full matte, like definitely not like a liquid lipstick. Um, not even really like a matte lipstick, but just, I don't know, probably closest to like maybe the NYX soft matte lip creams, I would say. They have this almost like silicone-y sort of feeling on the lips. 
I don't know, they're, they're really hard to describe because I feel like they're a unique formula, but I do really like them. I do check my teeth, make sure I don't have that going on, but I feel like as they set, I don't have to worry about that quite as much. But at the beginning, when I first put them on, for sure I'm checking my teeth, but especially with a bright color like this. But it's just a beautiful, bright, fun color. It just makes me happy. And then lastly, I was really wanting to wear these for this video. Honestly, it probably would have gone better with my makeup look, but I was really wanting to wear the bright lips, so I went with that, but this is absolutely beautiful. First off, you probably know what this is. This is Tawny, Jordana Tawny, because it goes with everything. So good old Tawny. And then this is one of the Ofra Metallic Liquid Lipsticks, the Long Lasting Liquid Lipsticks. This is one of the ones from the Trio. It's limited edition, and this is amazing. I love this so much. This is Versailles, which honestly, at first when I put it on, I was like, oh, okay, this is really, this is metallic. I don't, I don't know about this because it's kind of like a light bronzy metallic. But after I wore it for a little bit, I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. And the smell on these is amazing. They've always smelled really good. But th these three especially, I mean, they smell like vanilla, like some kind of a vanilla extract, yummy dessert. Oh my gosh, like I'm always like handing it over to Tim. I'm like, you gotta smell this, this is amazing. Because it's so yummy. So I love the scent of it and I love the formula. But look at that color. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And I did use this um, in that tutorial. I didn't show it, but that's what I was wearing in the tutorial and I'll talk about it more when I talk about the Moon Dust palette. So it's in that video, but Love it. So it's really pretty by itself, but I do really love it with Tawny because it gives it a little bit of dimension. Oh, the formula on these is amazing. I mean, they're comfortable, but they're long wearing. They do move a little bit, but I like that because then they wear away more normally rather than just like there or not there. So love, love, love the Ofra liquid lipsticks in general, but these metallics are just incredible. Mainly this one. This one's the one that I really have worn for a good amount of time, but I'm sure that the other ones are just as amazing. I did look at the colors though, like I swatched them, and swatching them, they're amazing. All right guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. I didn't have any fooies, just all things that I was loving. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down below what you were loving this week, or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have, I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.